Hi guys, this is Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. I was doing some crafting this afternoon and I thought about how often I was changing my store-bought ephemera to fit what I was doing. And this is nothing groundbreaking. I'm sure lots of people do it, but I just thought it'd be fun to do a video on altering your store-bought ephemera. Um, sometimes we put ourselves in a box and think we have to use it the way that it comes when we can easily do something different with it and make it work for us. I've always done this, even when I used to be a scrapbooker. I remember going to a scrapbook convention and I took a class and everybody was doing what the teacher said and I was doing something completely different. So I just always think out of the box when it comes to my crafting. And I just wanted to share some of my ideas with you. Like I said, there's nothing groundbreaking, but I just thought y'all would enjoy seeing what I was gonna do. So I am decorating these little um, paper clip pockets that Carrie the Crafter did. Um, I'll link his video below so y'all can go watch how he makes them. But I'm going to use, with this one, I'm going to use some Tim Holtz Ephemera. And I'm just going to, this wouldn't work whole. So I'm going to figure out a good way that I can use it that makes it work for what I want to do. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I want to keep these numbers to use. So I'm going to cut those off first. Oops, hold on, I was cutting a little too close. I don't use this guillotine trimmer that much. So I kept this because I want to use this part of it, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is, I think I'm gonna cut, let's see how big of a thing we need. Let's cut like, let's cut some of this side off. And I kind of want to keep this butterfly for something else, or maybe this one. Let's see. Let's cut across and use that one. Make sure I don't cut him off because, you know, um, we are going to cut off that other butterfly, but that's okay. And I got really close to cutting that one off. <laughs> he may not be useful for what I wanted to use him for. So now we're just going to cut these words at the bottom off. We're not going to use those for anything. So we're just popping those off. So let's see how this fits. All right, so it's still a little big. So we're going to cut right under this other butterfly. Okay. Now, I bought this little uh, corner, decorative corner thing. Oh, hold on, I'm not in the, okay. Decorative corner thing. And um, I don't know what else it's called. I like to use this one, but I always seem to mess it up. So I'm gonna try really hard not to mess it up. And I, I did it anyways. For some reason, I can do it right the second time, but I can never do it right the first time on the first corner. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. See, I did it again. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, maybe I should go from the other side. Oh, look, now I can actually see if it's in the right spot. Okay, we're not going to worry about the ones I messed up. We're just, you know, just going to pretend like those aren't messed up and just keep going. So next thing I want to do is ink up around it. And I'm going to use some walnut stain. I don't know why today I've been liking the darker... I did use some uh, vintage photo, but I was using a lot of the darker too. All right. So now we're just going to place this on our card. And this is just a piece of ephemera that I'm using whole as is. If y'all hear any background noise, I want to say somebody's outside weed eating and hopefully, I mean, it would be nice if it's my neighbor coming to weed at our yard, except for it's not good because it's going to get really loud. But, you know, I'm happy that he's helping us out and weed eating our yard. Okay, so now we have that stuck down. We're going to use this little label. We're going to put it right here. So I'm just going to cut it down a little bit. Well, it's not a label, it's that, you know, the thing we cut off, we're gonna make it a label. I'm 
okay. And we're just going to ink up the edges on it. And we're gonna use it like it's a label. And you could have cut down the top some. I mean, I wasn't worried about it. You do the look you like the best. So next thing, like I said, I may have cut too much of this off. I'm going to punch this little butterfly, which I did kind of cut off too much of him, but we're gonna try to do it anyway. So I'm gonna take this little butterfly and you know, I said we weren't gonna alter this, but let's put that little butterfly over this and where it has some little parts showing there, we're gonna put just a little piece of lace. I didn't plan on this, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, that's what I wanna do. Now, I don't know where my fabric tack is still, so we're just gonna hope mm, this glue holds. Um, and obviously it is not. Let me, I'm going to take this little clip. The only thing about the little clip is it kind of indents the paper some. But we're just gonna hold it down for a second. And I have glue all over my fingers. So let's ink around our butterfly. And then you can decide, like if you have something that's directional like this, so the postcard goes like this, but it's gonna be in our pocket like this. So I think I'm going to stick it. I can't decide because everything else is going that way. We can stick it that way, or we can stick it where it's in the pocket, he's right side up. So since he's gonna be in the pocket, let's just stick it like in the pocket. We're gonna go with that. I may look at it later and think that was a bad idea, but it's a good idea now. All right, let's just clip that back on for a few minutes and we're just gonna let that stay. But this is going to be, let's take that off so you can see what it looks like. So there is our tag with our decoration. We used one piece of uh, ball ephemera to make all that on our project. So let's see, here's another one that I did use in that same technique. I cut a card down and I took the number off and then I cut this down with my paper trimmer and then use a circle punch to do that. And then this was a separate piece of ephemera here. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is another one with punches and doilies. And everybody knows the doilies. Like I'm not teaching anybody anything with that. Everybody knows. So here's a like a store-bought uh, doily piece. And everybody does this, so, but you know, you don't have to use the whole thing. Cut or tear off what you want. You may have some beginners that are watching this that, you know, don't think of these things. But I love these little doily things. And the, also frames I use like this. I get these kind of frames and I use them like this also. Now there's gonna be glue literally everywhere when I'm done with this because of course the glue just spreads everywhere, but that's why um, I'm just sticking it down and letting it go. <laughs> okay, let's trim this bottom piece off. And I have so much glue on my fingers. I just did my fingernails today and it, they're already chipped. Like um, fingernail polish does not like me at all. Okay, so I wanted to use this and I used this on one earlier. Um, one of the hidden paper clips, I kind of trimmed it down and then I used that fancy uh, corner punch um, and did that on there. This was another piece of ephemera that I cut out to do. So that's on a hidden paper clip. So I pulled out this really old die I had, I mean die, this is not a die, old punch I have from Stampin' Up when I sold Stampin' Up years and years ago. So this is just another idea using punches. So once you have that 
course, punched out. I like to ink around the edges, not always, but for this project, I'm liking it. So I um, don't ever do the same thing, I feel like. So I'm just going to stick it right here. Cover up where we tore that doily. And then I do like this, dang it, it's part of like a book cover and I really like that look, but um, I don't want it to be so big. So I'm going to cut around the inner part of it instead of that outer part. Hopefully, um, it's not going to get too dark. I'm trying to use the natural light for my window. All right, so we're, and I want it to hang off a little bit. I like when stuff, like, goes off the page. I like that. So, let's ink it. I'm into the inking today. And then we'll put some glue on it, and I forgot to measure how far it was going to be hanging off, so... Hopefully, I won't get glue everywhere. Still, I get glue everywhere. That's why I have it all over my fingers. Okay, then we're just gonna trim that off on the other side. Now, I kinda want, I feel like it's missing something, but I think it'll look better when I get a tag in there. I didn't have anything set aside to use as a tag for this one, but I definitely think that one will look better once I get a tag on it. Okay, so there's an example, another example of using like punches and then a doily or a frame to tear and then using another piece of your ephemera in a way you wouldn't normally think about doing it. All right, so our next piece is going to be uh, these Tim Holtz pieces. Now these were all looked like this. They were all just the black and white and I don't know what this pack is called, but one day I was gel printing, so I'm not gonna show y'all exactly how to do this, but I had this stuff on my gel uh, plate and I just pressed these on and lifted them up and I did all kinds of different um, things and they have like the pattern and stuff on them from the jelly print. Um, this one's way easier to see because I was doing like polka dots. So I really like the way that looks. So you could do something like that. Also, if you have something like these, um, you can color them or use like watercolor something on them. But I'm just going to use the Distress Ink and just make it where it's not stark white. Okay, now this piece, and I know a tag's gonna cover it up, but it has the little birds on it. So that's why I wanted to do the little bird cage. I thought that would be cute. So behind it, I know it's a little bright and all, but I just really love the way this looks. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom down here. And I probably put too much glue. Seems to be a theme today put that down here and we all know if you watch my past videos probably not straight we're just gonna go with it let's cut this off and then the bird cage let's see I want it to kind of be right at the top there okay now, I will say, I do not know if this Distress Ink is going to rub off of this. I probably should have used my Archival Ink because I think this is rubbing off. But we can fix it. Yeah, it's rubbing off. But that's okay. I have Archival Ink and it's a permanent ink. And I got glue where I don't want it. Let's take, cut this off and then, and you could leave it hanging over. I mean, you know, you do what you like. That is definitely coming off. 
So let's use, we're just gonna put some coffee on this one. So the archival ink should stay on. Now I don't know how much of that is the archival ink and how much of that is the distress ink. But I guess whatever stays is the archival ink. Okay. So the other thing that I've done a lot of is when I use the words stickers, because it has like multiple, like be amazed and use your wings. And you know, you don't, of course, everybody knows you don't have to use them in a strip. So you can just use, cut one word off of it or, you know, like if you just want good to be on there, you could do good. So I'm not sure what I want this one to say. Let's just use the word love from the love you. I was standing up craft crafting, now I'm sitting down crafting. I do like standing up better, but the other desk is not ready for filming yet. All right, so gonna put it right there. I always, 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 always put glue on my stickers. I don't trust stickers. I scrapbooked for years and a lot of times like you take the stickers out the scrapbook out and the stickers don't stick anymore so I always put glue on them um, I also think it would look nice if I put some lace on here too I don't know where I put the lace there it is hiding so we all know the lace doesn't want to stick but I just think it would look really pretty down here I'm actually going to cut this part off. That way it's just, I just like just that, whoops, the lace part. I'm definitely gonna have to clip this. I'm definitely gonna have to clip it or it's going to just pop right off. Yes, it's popping off. Where did I put the clip? Okay, let's take the clip off the other one. I really need to find my Fabri-Tac. It's just, I hate that stuff. It smells so strong and I am so sensitive to fumes and fragrances that I feel sick after I'm done using it and that's no fun when you're crafting and then you feel sick. All right, if I only had another clip up here. Well, I do not. So I guess I'll just hold this a minute. You know, I don't, now that I'm sitting here looking at it longer, I do want the U also. I'm just gonna still use it altered. It's gonna be cut apart, but I don't like just the U. It needs something else. I may have to turn the light on if it gets too dark. All right, so is that stuck? That side's stuck. Let's stick this side. Okay, and then I think it needs one more thing. I gotta get some bling. I'll be right back. And if y'all hear it, my neighbor is like definitely cutting the grass right now, so. All right, so where do we, Shabby Dabby Doo Dah Tina there got me using this bling, which I love anything that sparkles, so it didn't take much to talk me into it. All right, do we like it under the love you? Or do we like it over here. Hmm. I think I like it under the love you. All right, man, this, a piece of this fault earlier. Let's see if I can get it without dropping it. All right. There you go, there's that one. And I'm, of course I don't have a tag for it, but I really want to find this piece of paper because I have a whole pack of it and find the birds and make a tag so the birds are on it. So that is a mission that I will do because it has to have the birds on it or find a piece of ephemera that has a bird. Okay, so then our next project is a little bit different because I've used I had ordered a scrapbooking kit 
not too long ago. Um, I do love scrapbook paper. Started off as a scrapbook scrapbooker, and I just love scrapbook paper. Um, I have a collections of it. So I had bought them, and I don't know the company it's from, but all of their ephemera has this white edge around it. Um, and I don't really care for that. So what I did was I already made these pieces. I just cut all the white off. So I'm gonna show y'all what I did with those, all right? So I had this paper was a vintage looking paper in the paper pack that has little strawberries on it. So I thought it would be great to use some of this. So I'm just going to cut all the white edges off. Which I mean, there's nothing groundbreaking like I said about this. So let me cut all that off and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I cut all of the white off and then to kind of make it go with the paper better because this is really dent, dent, blah, blah, blah. This paper is really dingy and vintage looking. First, I'm going to take the vintage photo and I'm just going to dab it. That way those whites aren't as stark white. Get that everywhere. Uh-oh. I got a little delicate leaves on that one. Then I'm going to take the walnut stain and just go around with it just to kind of define the edge better. That's why I got this small dauber because a lot of the things I was doing had these intricate spaces. So it does get in it just a little bit better. All right, now if I can pick up the strawberry, do the strawberry. And last, a little ticket. Now I have um, really no plans of doing a strawberry journal, but I thought if you were doing like a summery journal, the strawberries would look really cute in it. Um, definitely something different. So first thing, I'm going to stick this strawberry. Stick him on here. And then we'll put this one Here, I thought I had picked some words out to go with it. I guess I didn't. Hmm. I really thought I had. So there's that. And I really want something down here. We could just do bling. We could do the bling right there. I think the bling looks good. Let's just use the bling. I'm a little bling crazy today. I've been using a lot of bling. Haven't been using bling in my videos much, but you know. I was watching Tina on from Shabby Dabby Doo Dot earlier and she got me in the bling mood. All right. Still may end up putting something else down there, but oops, that's it for now. Okay, and then the very last thing is my favorite, well, I'll say it's the last thing, but it, it may, um, is tearing. I absolutely love tearing things and just using pieces of it, just something I've always loved to do. Um, actually, that scrapbook class I was telling y'all about that I was doing my own thing, uh, yeah, I was tearing around the words. First thing I'm going to do is, um, let me, I feel like it's getting darker, so let me turn this light on. Okay. Sorry if that makes it really drastically different. Okay. First thing I'm going to cut the words off because I'm probably going to use those. And then I'm just, I like the white showing, so I'm going to tear towards me. If you don't, then tear away from you. 
and I'm just going to tear all the way around this image. Like I said, nothing groundbreaking at all, but it's fun and I wanted to do a video. I will be um, in Disney this week and so the day I normally do videos, I won't be available. So I just decided to kind of help out my anxiety too. I would just come in here and film a little video for y'all. And since this is what I was working on and that's what popped in my brain, that's what I decided to do. All right, I'm gonna ink around the edges. Love this flower, it's beautiful. I love roses. My grandmother grew roses and um, I just I have always loved roses because of that. All right, so we're going to put this down here, but I do like those words that were on it. Um, so let's go ahead and tear around. We won't get all the words, but we'll get some of them. This is going to be a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. We got this. All right. Now let's go ahead and do that one in the darker ink. Give it a little contrast. Get the walnut stain. Ooh, I went a little crazy with that. It's a lot darker. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, we're going, you know what? Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's put this at the top. I kind of like that really dark look to it. All right, we're going to put this at the top been putting the words at the bottom a lot so let's put it at the top I'll cut the edge off now I will show ooh, I almost cut that too much I might have cut the pocket oh well I'll show y'all where I've kind of done it before where I haven't um, left I mean, I've left the thing on. I haven't cut it off. Okay, and then that'll get, let's just put something in it to get an idea of how it's gonna look. Let's put this in here. So then if we put like the green, card in there. Look how pretty that looks. I really like that. Beautiful. Okay. Let me put this one back in the one it belongs in. All right. One more thing. And so with this one, what I thought is we all can have like the little, you know, regular postage stamps that come in ephemera. So they're not real stamps. This one was like a sheet of four and I tore them in half. Okay. But I have this, well, I've got to remember where I put it, this postage stamp punch. And I really love just making postage stamps. I have like a whole container full of them. But this is a little book I got from Timu. And it's funny because when I ordered it, I did not look at uh, the dimensions. And I had just ordered some little paper pads off of Amazon. And I would say they were about four by five inches. So I thought this was about the same. Yeah, always read what the dimensions are. I mean, it still comes in handy, but I really was expecting something a good bit larger than this. <laughs> All right, so what I like to do is just take the paper, put it where you can see it, and I'm just going to make like a little collage out of postage stamps. Now this example I didn't try, so we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> 
I, I've used the punch before, I just didn't try making a collage out of it. So we'll see what that looks like. All right, you know, we can always change our mind and do something different. Now, what I was thinking we would do for the base of the collage is I have this um, vintage music. And I'm so like, so in love with the way this paper feels. I got a really good deal. Like I went into this resale shop and she had all this old music from like early 1900s. Um, some even from the 1800s and she sold me this huge stack for $5. So it was, it was a jackpot for sure. She had more and I wish I would have bought more of it because I have not been able to find another deal like that. All right, I'm not gluing anything down because I don't know where I'm going with this yet. So I'm thinking we want to ink them. So we keep that postage edge and they don't get lost. I'm trying to decide how I want the music to go. We could do, I really like the blue as a contrast. All right, let's look for a different flower that's blue. I kind of like that one. Oh no, I like that one better. Okay, let's go with that. I got so many punches, I keep grabbing the wrong one. Okay. Let's ink him up. I honestly do not know how people craft and keep their desk clean. Like this is clean for my desk. Earlier when I was crafting, I had like a stack of little boxes that I keep like, okay, I keep my ephemera in these little boxes and I had them like all stacked up open on my desk. Would pick them up and dig through them. I don't know how people craft without doing that. Like I have no clue. All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Let's stick the stick the music down or glue it down, I should say. We're gonna center it. All right, and let's take the pink one. Now I'm gonna put it up here above the music and let it kind of hang off, okay? Now we're gonna take this one, put it over here, let that one hang off. Don't. You know what, do we like this blue? Let's go ahead and use this blue one. I don't love it, but I really want the blue on there. Two blues. Blue's my favorite color, so we're gonna spotlight the blue. Not because it's my favorite color. I mean, probably because it's my favorite color, but. <laughs> All right, so then the glue, the glue, the glue ones, the blue ones we're going to put right on the ends. Oops, that's upside down right on the inside of the music. So really not seeing that much of the music. All right, now let's cut off these. Put a little more glue on there. I have ink and glue on my fingers, so that looks interesting. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at my thumb, y'all. That's so nasty. <laughs> okay. 
So I really like that. Now I have to see it with a tag in there because then I can like get an idea of what it looks like. I don't know why my brain can't picture what it's gonna look like without a tag in it. So let's get that little piece of manila folder I have just hanging out over there. Oh yeah, I like that. I do. I put that one a little high and didn't put this, excuse me, that one low enough, but let's see if we can um, find a label or something to put on it. Um, let's see, I have, I have some things just sitting out here. We'll go on with the using things, altering things and using them. So what if we just put, let's cut off just a little bit of the blue. I don't know if that worked out the way I wanted it to. Cut it a little bit bigger so I don't cut off the words. All right, yeah, let me trim that down a little bit. Okay. So we're gonna put that right there. That's a little bitty. Little bitty. And put that there with all the glue oozing. And then let's put the Paris, let's cut the Paris part out. I didn't cut that very straight at all. Oh my goodness. I think even with my glasses on, I can't see. Uh-oh, I end up losing it. All right, so let's see, we could put Paris, we could put it here. Do we like it? I do like it there. Okay, let's put it there. Okay, so let's let's pretend this is a tag. So that's what that looks like. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Um, let me show you again what we made. We made, of course, that one, this one, this cute little strawberry with the bling, the little bird one with some more bling. Gotta make that, um, gotta make that tag. Did this one with our punches and the um, doily. And this one we did here, where we did the postcard with the lace and use one of the big ephemera pieces to make our piece for the decoration. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers so I can do live streams. I think that would be really fun. And uh, appreciate you watching. Please like this video. It helps YouTube know to send it to other people. Thanks a lot. Bye. Y'all have a great day.